you you mentioned limited liability company and uh, you've been using company quite a lot and um i i don't know i don't know if i'm getting this correctly but my understanding of a company um it has to have uh, a, a organization structure probably a shareholder a ceo or something of the sort but since i heard about welgen i haven't heard about any shareholders or anything that would state that um this is a company so to speak so what is the difference between an llc and a shell company yeah yeah you must have a you must have a shareholder you know um i think in terms of directorship i think you only need about two directors um you have to have a, a director i think in st lucia you have to have a director that's a resident in st lucia if I, if I if i remember the tax laws properly there so obviously what they would have is that they would have someone there um who basically acts as your corporate secretary and your director your resident director um in saint lucia um and then you know you might have directors from here from jamaica or wherever um there is a requirement that you have um board meetings in saint lucia at least once per year as i remember it right um so the directors i mean even though they they live outside of saint lucia um you, you, you can you, you have to establish residence in saint lucia to to be able to take advantage um of the preferential tax rate so for you to establish that res, residence is by um by 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 having a board meeting in saint lucia right well it's perfect to do that because you have to establish residence at a company if the directors are having meetings and the meetings are outside of saint lucia then you're going to lose that residency status and that tax status um so it, it's 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 legal it's a legal thing to do i mean as long as you follow the rules okay right and that is what somebody doing a tax audit might look for okay you know to make sure that you're following the rules yeah. all, right, all right thanks for that um i i haven't seen any directors mentioned uh, i've seen signatory um but we we, we still await the, the, the full details of this situation because again and i have mentioned it before i i don't want to form a full opinion because i don't have all the facts and then um right, I, I right. think that would be reckless of me or, or yeah. to, to to come out with a full opinion having not received all the information um that that mm -hmm. that 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 would, would would surround this particular case all right so um my next question how is it possible for something like this to go unnoticed for for, for, for over 10 years because initially we thought uh, we thought it was up until the end of last year and then news broke today that it, it has been going on since 2012. so as someone yeah. who's been in the financial sector how, how does something like this go unnoticed there's there's only two things that can cause it um one of them is collusion right in other words you know maybe there, there's more more than just gene content that's involved in it right that would be collusion there's no i don't see no evidence of that yet um or, or just gross negligence and breakdown of the control systems mm -hmm. you know um that that's that, that that's it because it's supposed to be picked up for example i would ask the question of, of this lady gina and Panton, um did she go and leave because when you find that one of the things in, in an organization i see that people are not taking leave and for two or three years they don't want to take leave maybe because they can't take leave because if they take leave and people will uncover what they're doing at the desk. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. I, I heard, I, I think, I think I was having this conversation with, with, with elite sports, you know, and we were speaking about the, the same leave argument where, where folks don't even want to step away from the desk because they, they don't want other mm -hmm. folks to, to get in. But still, 10 years, I think, I think over maybe three years, five years, it's understandable, but a full decade, um, is it possible yeah, for a there, single individual? Yeah. But, but I mean, I find it very difficult. Yeah. Um, there's obviously a breakdown of internal audits, 
you know, um, there, and, and also the control system, the basic control system, which is segregation of duties. Um, a lot of people I've seen in companies say, boy, you know, why, why we need so much people to do X and Y? You know, and the first thing is always to go to the accounts department. Um, but the, com the, the segregation of duties is important. As for example, if you have your vendors dealing with your, your accounts payable people, they have a problem, right? Because the accounts payable people can issue a check to the vendor so if they get too close. Um, and similar on the receivable side, um, um, with, 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 with your receivables people, you know? Um, so a lot of people I know, because they're trying to get costs and um, you see that as the most, the, the place that, that is not the most exciting is always accounts. You know, you, you try to cut the administration, but you know, these are the things that happen when you do that. All right. You know, um, yeah. All right, fair enough. Um, what, what are your thoughts on, because before we even get to that question, a couple of years ago, we, we saw we were popular entertainer, David Brooks, more popularly known as Mavado. He had a similar case. Well, not similar, but um, he, he had a run-in with, with, with Gina. And, with, with, sorry, not Gina, with Mesa, Mrs. Mesado. And the case is still between yeah. the courts, 30-something million for land. Uh, she filed for bankruptcy. And again, Mavado still yet to receive justice. Um, seems yeah. as if it's a slap on the wrist for, for Mrs. Masado. And a couple of days ago, it was reported that that SSL, they, they, they tried to wind up, mm -hmm. wind up. Can you explain what winding yeah, up yeah. is and, and why would a company want Basi to wind up? Well, basically you, you dissolve the company and you would do that. I mean, a member's wind up um, is because you, you, you want to just liquidate the business, get out of it. It's not normally because you're having an insolvency problem, um, but just that you want to liquidate, um, wind up the company, stop doing it, um, and just pay up the assets. Um, in this case, I mean, you know, I, I find it, you know, um, very unacceptable, should I say, or, you know, very fishy that someone will try and wind up a company at the same time that the temporary manager has stepped in, you know. Um, it, it suggests to me if the members are going to do a voluntary wind up, um, that they might see that there are some solvency issues, right? Number one, and or um, they're trying to protect themselves from legal action, which which is, you know, this, this, this um, move to wind up for me, you know, it, People could say, look on and say, oh, this is an admission of guilt. I, I was you know, just going to get to that. Want. I was just going yeah, to get they, to that. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Basically, what the owners are saying is, hey, you know, we want we want to to liquidate the company and you know maybe file for bankruptcy, bankruptcy or something, you know. Um, but it, it it seems to me an admission of guilt. Um, when, when you do something like that in the middle of an investigation like this. I, I agree because uh, if I'm running an establishment and a member of my staff does something like this, I, I am fully cooperating with the investigators the intro because yeah, that right. staff member has brought the, 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 the good name of my yeah, establishment yeah. into disrepute. And, um, but, but, then, but then you ask the question, you know, I mean, um, you say over 10 years, it's, it's very difficult for her to do it alone over 10 years. That, that's exactly my you point. Know, and I mean, there must have been some assistance, whether well, it might be assistance, assistance to, you know, but, but certainly, I mean, it, it's extremely difficult, something like that over 10 years in a financial institution. Yeah.